Virgo, let's start off with love. Um, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, love. Let's have a look what's happening. Oh, double aces. Very beautiful, Virgo. Okay, two aces. You've got the past come up in the form of the death card as well. So some of you might have a second chance or someone from the past coming in. A past lover, a past spouse, someone you wanted to date but never got the uh, chance to. Second chances are coming up around you, okay? This time around, it's different, okay? You've got the justice card here. So possibly the past coming in, it might be a Scorpio. You've got water here with the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You do have fire here as well and air. So look, you've got a bit of a mix here, Virgo. So um, it can be someone under any sign, but I feel like with the Ace of Cups, it is a fated meeting or a fated second chance, okay? Or it, in the least, it's a chance to reconcile or um, there's an outpouring of emotion. So whether or not you get back together, I mean, it's a possibility here. I don't know if this person has changed entirely because the Seven of Swords, there's something that they're not revealing entirely. So they're either still withholding information maybe or are not choosing to come forward as the Queen of Swords. The option is there for them to come up this way. It really depends if they'll do that when the two of you uh, come together into a relationship. Um, but nonetheless, the bird is a messenger here in the Ace of Cups. So there could be a messenger coming forward as well or a message from someone, okay? Um, the death card can also be major endings and transformations. So some of you might be ending something because a judgment um, a judgment call is going to be made here with the justice card. So it's finally putting your foot down and making some sort of decision here. But you'll move on quickly. If you're ending a relationship or someone's ending one with you, then I feel like someone else is going to come in and start talking to you fairly quickly. So for those Virgos watching that are ending a connection, there is a possibility for that to happen. I think for the most part, it might be an amicable ending, so I don't see you getting overly upset. But I do feel like with the Knight of Wands, there might be someone else who's going to rush in um, and demand your attention, your time, or start asking you out. And um, Queen of Swords, I feel like you should give this person the time of day. Again, each situation is different, and how you feel about this person that you've disconnected to might be different. But I feel like there's common interest here with the Queen of Swords energy. Now, for some of you, there's a shift. And I did mention that shift, especially with a five to the King of Pentacles. The fact that the Death card is here is major transformation out with the old and in with the new. It's almost like pressing the restart button on your relationship or starting afresh. Maybe it's a second chance at a first impression. Maybe it's a second chance to do things right this time. Maybe you've learned a lot from the first time. Um, because you're going in with a much more clear head, Queen of Swords. So I feel like communication, if there was breakdowns, suddenly things are more clear. Suddenly the Queen of Swords is more direct. She knows what she wants. She feels more free. She doesn't feel too attached. So there is a shift taking place. And I do feel like there is improved communication, which is really, really good. Um... The Knight of Wands with the King of Wands is unsettled energy, however. If you're dealing with a fire sign and Aries, a Sag or Leo, you may notice that this person isn't very settled. In fact, they're a little bit unsettled. Um, the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands don't like to commit too much to the one person, one place. Um, whilst they can, they're absolutely capable of doing that. They just, they're too antsy. There's someone here, whether or not they're a fire sign, there's someone here who's got a... Um, a lot of energy and it's all building up and I did mention that build up or that hype coming coming in around you so I mean that might have something to do with it but I feel for the most part there's an unsettled energy they might not be acting like themselves Virgo it could be you but I feel like there's someone who might grow a bit distant or you feel like they're they're everywhere at once or they're, they're overwhelmed it could be that they're overwhelmed as well and they might not communicate this to you remember they might not communicate it. They might avoid saying it outright, saying what they really feel, the pressure, the intimidation. There could be a situation here where they feel intimidated by you. Maybe how much success you have, where you want to be in life, what you want from your partner, where you see this relationship going. The Emperor brings that intimidating energy. And there's this outpour. I mean, for a lot, I feel like, for a lot of you, I feel like this person is going to withhold and close, close down a little bit. Um, or pretend things are going well when really there's something, there's been a seed planted for them. Not for all of you, but for some of you. I don't know if it's anything to do with an ex, maybe. 
an ex-partnership, an ex-wife, an ex-husband um, um, that's sort of coming back around because of the past. But Scorpio energy with the death card is mystery. Scorpio is a very elusive sign. They don't give away everything. Um, but when they do get attached, when they do commit, it is they, they do fall quite deeply. But for the most part, they'll, they're quite enigmatic and you won't ever really know what they're thinking. So regardless of whether you're dealing with a Scorpio sign or not, the fact that that's the only sign that has come up with these five cards indicate to me that there's mystery or enigma. It's almost like someone will have a very puzzling attitude or behavior during this time and it might make you a little bit concerned Virgo and that's why I feel like there's a bit of a showdown things have to come you have to put your foot down and approach this person once and for all I think about whatever situation here is happening for some of you could also be someone brand new coming in brand new love chapter coming in for you and if it's not someone from your past Virgo you might have shared a past life connection with this person physical attraction will be quite strong and karmically the two of you could be quite compatible together I think there's a reason why they've come into your life um, let's have a look at your career though business finance let's see what we can learn in those aspects okay career could see some shake-ups as well with the tower card unforeseen circumstances or setbacks or delays could come in the way um, you won't be expecting them with a tower card or it could be a fire sign that intervenes somehow. Um, there could be one or two of you involved or this could even be a group thing, um, but it's going to create some traction here with the tower card. It's not always bad, but it's just some possible delays. Um, and, and I guess be careful that someone is committing as much as they say they are or there's no theft going on in the business or anything. I guess you might have to be extra vigilant and you tend to be this way Virgo. You're very switched on. You've got immense attention to detail. So I just think make sure you're like that this month around the workspace. I mean, it could even be competition. Okay, it could even be competition. The Emperor's intimidating. So it could be that someone's intimidated by you and they might sort of do something here out of anger or jealousy so you might notice that not for all of you but for some of you um, or it could be just a project that you've been trying to build up that's going to require more money more resources put into it um, as well uh, the high priestess here there's a prophecy coming forward uh, something that you're meant to be doing or achieving or experiencing now she's got the black and white pillars, which can symbolize a destined collaboration of sorts, which I mentioned with the Libra card, two parties, two, two parties, two people, two companies coming together for a binding agreement of some kind for, for a higher purpose or a contract or money or investments. So that's coming in as well. And I think that's supposed to happen sometime because she does hold, the high priestess does hold an important script in her hand, which is the Torah. But um, a translation or a symbolism for that could be a contract or a deed to a home or paperwork, uh, registrations, etc. Um, also with the Four of Cups is a God-gifted opportunity, okay, um, which comes here. And you, do, you did have that ace, so I'm wondering if this is a new opportunity, a new career path for some of you. Uh, it could offer quite a bit of pay. Again, I'm seeing more money around you. So for a lot of you, you're going from destitution, debt, and struggle to feeling pretty damn good about your uh, financial situation. So there is an opportunity here to make more money, to earn more money or be in a better position um, or receive a better salary, maybe because of more hours, more stable hours, more stable overtime. Something like this could be coming in. But the Nine of Pentacles is enjoyment, um, and it's finally being at a place, because you are the Pentacles, it's, it's you finally being at a place that you enjoy. So for a lot of you, you might reach a new level in your career, and maybe it's not necessarily a promotion, although it can be. You've got a lot of influential cards here. It's it's just you feeling really good where you are, really secure where you are. The Nine of Pentacles is very complacent where he is. He's enjoying the moment. Um, he's looking around and he's happy with his work. He's happy how he's, where he's come to and how he's got there. So there's a sense of accomplishment and pride coming in around you, which is really good. You might accomplish something. You might finish a project. You might contribute to something and be very praised for it. Or you might receive an incentive, a bonus, uh, because there is wish fulfillment here. You do have the Nine of Cups, which is seen as the wish card, the dream card. Things are aligning in the workplace. Um, things are aligning in business. Maybe you're ready to sell. Maybe you're ready to present something. 
but there's some sort of wish here you've been meaning to maybe attract a certain position or attract a certain opportunity to talk to a co-worker or attract uh, a certain product uh, or a certain um, attract a certain market these this is coming up around you could also be a water sign a cancer Pisces Scorpio which is making these things happen for you. So maybe um, keep an eye out for any water signs that are around you because they might be making good things occur, good things happen. It is also like sitting and waiting in that Nine of Cups. So I feel like you know something is coming. You've just got to sit and wait and accept it in the physical. So there is quite a bit of hype around this and you will have it, you will hold something in your hands. So make you very, very excited because the cups are all about emotion and the nine is a number of fulfillment and wisdom and understanding So and, and completing a mission. So lots of completion and accomplishment next to you here, Virgo. I will leave it at that, however. I do hope this reading has been helpful for you. Um, if you were after a private reading with me, please feel free to email me.